Me and Matt had just been out jet boating and uh, only managed to find some goats. So um, we did a bit of an admin move uh, yesterday and last night, regrouped, and uh, now we find ourselves in the uh, Ruahini Ranges, um, climbing up a hill. What are we looking for? Deer. Deer, yeah. Any types? <laughs> yeah, stags are in velvet. Don't know if it'll be hard enough to take anything. Um, ideally a spiker or a yearling. Last time I was out last <coughs> week or the week before and I think I saw 10 over two days but the majority of those were hinds and fawns so uh, it took us right until the last evening to, to find a yearling. pretty hard up here we just found ourselves a little bubble um, we've got another hour or so to get to our get to our spot and uh, just hoping that no one else is there fingers crossed hey Maddie and pause and pause Yep. Like a cluster. Thing. Yep. So come up two o'clock from that, there's a large um, clear patch in the tussock, oh, in the leatherwood of tussock. tonight organic beef ginger and pineapple fucking glad it's uh glad it's organic Maddie. Mm -hmm. yeah gotta be organic eh? is it keto <laughs> yeah so me and Maddie had big plans this morning alarm set at five ready to go uh had some areas we wanted to watch get an eye on and we um got up poked our head out Beautiful. Weather's cleared up a bit now. Uh, we've been having a pretty lazy morning. Just um, going to go light order. Day packs, uh, knives, rifles, binos. A uh, bit of wet weather gear. And uh, head off to see if we can see anything. Now that we can see further than uh, 10, not 10 odd metres. So just uh, just got comms from Maddie. I was just setting up to head off to uh, my OP, and he's found that um, that young stag that he got onto last night. So uh, he reckons it's it's at a shootable range now. It's going to be a hell of a recovery, but um, I'll make my way to him, and uh, we'll make a plan from there. following my videos but a while ago I missed a pig because I was far too confident in my ability. Uh, used to be a mean ass shot and what's happened recently. Uh, even though Maddie's taking this one, I'm convincing him uh, we should we should close. He's currently at uh, 320, which is all good but we got a lot of wind to play with. Yeah, 
yeah, so we're still uh, watching the steer. He's um, currently at, what do you reckon, Matty? 295? Yeah. 295 from our uh, current firing position. And, uh, but a hearty as recovery, big recovery, um, going right back up on the tops and cutting down the spur that he's on. Um, we've decided to wait him out. He's currently bedded down. Just, uh, it's, it's 420, uh, late Jan. And um, he's obviously fed up as the weather got good. By the time we spotted him, he decided to bed down and uh, just chewing his cud for the next wee while. So uh, you now it's just a game of waiting it out and hopefully um, getting a good shot. You might have uh, called me up and told me before you started shooting. Oh, yeah, probably should have. I just sort of jump up and start moving around. Just got excited, eh? <laughs> yeah. Maddie's walk of shame then uh, commenced through the leatherwood, uh, and then it was up to us to find something else. Yeah, so we've... Um We've got onto another one right up on the top, just don't know what he is yet. Uh, we'll try and get the camera on now. Yeah, so I spotted this young girl right up on the tops, uh, but she had a mission on and she just kept walking the whole time we watched her. Uh, soon enough she was out of our sight and we decided not to go on the chase. Yeah, second morning, uh, up on the tops, Rohini tops. Maddie lost his garter in the, in the intense wind last night. He's gathered. They're good ones, swazzy ones. All of us are rocking them now. Big fans. I'm gonna buy mats off him for maybe, what do you reckon, I'll offer you $5 for your single one. <laughs> Can't buy your single gutter off you for five bucks. No deal? Way. No, no way. deal? What are you gonna do with it? Yeah, keep it. Keep it for a spare. Another one. Oh, yeah. Good enough to buy another pair. You got 150 bucks. So yeah, when you're staying at a hut, especially a little hut like this, you know, not not heaps of traffic, but um, heaps of people leave stuff behind, and it's always real handy stuff. Like, like I'm sure these have been here a long time. Hey, Maddie, like, yeah, you got some old spaghetti. Um, this here is one of those packs out of the Mingering noodles. Like, fucking handy in a survival situation when you uh, when you when you come across. When you're like, oh, finally at the hut, oh, for some reason I have no food or supplies, oh, fuck, this will keep me going. <laughs> <laughs> that is blatant sarcasm, but yet some still leave shit behind like that, you know? Like, the Kansas spaghetti, they've probably been here maybe 10, 15 years. I've never turned up at a hut and been like, fuck, I could, <laughs> I could go and I'm can of spaghetti, you know? Gas, empty gas cylinders. Oh, there's nothing in here. It's been here that long with the rest of the top. You think that's handy too? <laughs> Some people must be today. It's a it's a worry that these people are rocking around in the hills with that sort of thought process. You know, it scares me. Just waiting for the clag to clear. It's cold. Neither of us bought gloves because it's uh, summer. We've got very cold hands and feet. Um, just wondering if we're going to go sit up in a misty saddle and. Uh, Look at cloud. For how long we're going to do that for? Who knows? Yeah, a bit bloody frustrating in this clag. Dogs indicating one's perfect. Can see about 10, 15 metres. <laughs> yeah, but hey, that's how it is. Just uh, made sure Maddie's um, just double checking, checking each other. Maddie made sure, I reckon my pack was shocking, so he just readjusted my straps. So that's nice of him. And uh, then I, th I thought I'd, I'd have a pick at what he was doing and I'd just check what his magnification was on. But I'm um, thinking he'd still be dialed in on nine times, but because he's a bit of a pro, he's back on four. Perfect, perfect for the conditions. Waited long enough, Matt. It's time to cut tracks, mate. Time to go. Hopefully, we'll bump into something on the way out.